Hi guys, it's Robin. I hope you are going to love watching this page as much as I love how it turned out and made it. Um, this is a picture of my cousin Jennifer and I at her wedding tearing up the dance floor. I have some moves, can I tell you? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'd love to dance. I absolutely love to dance. I hardly sat all night. My poor husband is not a dancer. Um, and I think I pretty much ditched him. I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened that way. And it was, you know, over and, and I had a in. In fact, I danced so much, I had blisters on the bottom of my big toes. Is that crazy? I don't know. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me. And I am using um, my... July... No, June Scraptastic Kit. This is my June Scraptastic Kit. And I end up not using half of these papers. Um, I'm just kind of showing you the ones that are uh, I was thinking about using. That's plain white, white cardstock. And I quickly ditch all of these ideas. It's just I just wasn't getting the feeling of what I wanted. And I, I'm ending up using this extra piece that um, I used the other half on on a layout called um, Cousins and Their Shenanigans. And I'm sure you all recognize this paper because it's also in the June Hip Kit Club um, pack. And I decided to cut off these triangles. It reminded me of the dance floor, and I know it's really hard to see in that picture, but the dance floor looked just like that paper. And so I said, well, I at least want to use these elements. And then I really like the white space, and so I I put the other pictures down or the other papers away and I'm trying to figure out how I can make this paper work. Um, when it's all chunked together, it kind of looked a little busy and I, I just said, well, let's take this apart and see if it helps um, lighten it up a little bit because it was taken away from the picture and of course you want that to be your focus. So I just spend a couple seconds here um, cutting these strips by hand. And I'm kind of, I, I know that there's another yellow piece and I'm trying to find it and it's driving me nuts. I'm like, am I looking right at it? Where'd it go? Because as, I guess as I cut it, flipped over and that's the culprit right there. I'm like, yay. So um, anyway, I just kind of start playing around with some of these strips. And um, this one I cut in half and actually use them within the triangles themselves. And you'll see here in a minute, um, there's a piece of that replicating floorboard. I end up cutting that off, but I do use the back side of it, which is pink, and I add it to those squares as well. So it's like I'm using every, literally every single piece from this sheet of cardstock or uh, pattern paper. Um, yeah, it was just amazing. You know, usually you have little strips here and there left over. I used every bit of this sheet, and which I'm very happy about. And when I first saw it, I wasn't quite in love with it. Um, Actually, I'm going to be honest, I didn't like it at all. I, I didn't know how to use it. And then I used it on the Cousins page, and I really actually started liking it. And now I love it. Now I'm so glad because I bought, um, I belong to Scraptastic Kit, but I did buy a June Hip Kit Club, and there was a sheet of it in there. And now I, I just can't wait to see what I do with that one. Um, and from the two layouts, if you put them side by side, you cannot tell that it's the same piece of paper. So I got two completely different looks from the same sheet of um, pattern paper. So I'm sure I can get more different looks with the other sheet as well. So who knows what I'll come up with. Hopefully I have something up my sleeve. Um, I did this just the other day. And um, the picture of us, we are the redheaded twin cousins. She is my, my cousin. She's eight years younger. My mom and my Aunt Michelle are the only siblings they have. Um, it's just the two of them. They are 15 years apart, and Jen and I are eight years apart. And um, we were just getting sassy on this dance floor. And, you know, that's just what redheads are. And we can be sweet and loving and giving as well. But we are sassy and we can be mouthy and uh, me more than Jen, I think. But um, anyway, we had such uh, – she saw a side of me that night dancing on the dance floor – we were just having such a great time, and um, I think she ditched her husband. I ditched Erica. We just danced together quite a bit, and then the other cousins came out, and we just had such a great time. Um, 
So I think my aunt took this picture. I saw her walking around on the dance floor with her phone and I just kind of looked back at her and she snapped the picture and someone sent it to me and I'm looking sassy and Jennifer's looking sassy and classy because this dress was just dropped dead gorgeous. I cannot wait for you guys to see um, the rest of the wedding picture. She was such a gorgeous, gorgeous bride. But, oh, I have to tell this story. Okay, so... Her husband's name is Ben, and he's from China, and he does not, or he speaks English, of course, but his parents do not, and, um, but I, I made quick friends with his mother, or she just tolerated me, one of the two, I don't know, but she was giving hugs with me, and um, at first she was just grabbing my hands, and when I first met her, I wanted to be very polite and respectful of the culture, and I didn't know quite what to do, and I went to bow, and she grabbed my hand because she recognized me from Jennifer's Facebook, Jen. She had said something to Ben, and Ben translated. He said, she recognizes your pictures. And I'm like, recognizes you from your pictures. And I'm like, pictures of what? And Jen's like, my Facebook. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I think they were showing her who was coming. And um, so she grabbed my hands. And so then I I took her hands, and then she kind of, I just pulled her into me, I think. And she's just this bitty thing. And um, I hugged her. So every time I saw her, I gave her a hug. And then I started giving dad hugs. And I don't know what they thought of me, but they would smile and be polite anyway. But when we would meet for dinners at restaurants and stuff, she'd see me walking and she'd wave and smile really big. And I'd go over and give her some more hugs. So the dance, <laughs> the reception. Okay, I'm going to repeat. It was open bar. Um, anyway, so she was just kind of sitting there and, and she, she wasn't the mother and she didn't quite know what to do. And, uh, the song comes on and, um, and it was to push it by salt and pepper <laughs> myself. And, um, a, a friend of mine that I made there, we went over and we grabbed her hands and we pulled her out on the dance floor and she, that was it. That's all it took. She held on to both of our hands. For some reason, we just stayed in this like circle and then everybody kind of added to the circle. So all of us were holding hands, dancing to push it on the dance floor. And Jen comes up later and she goes, thanks, you two. I died of all songs. She pulled my mother-in-law out <laughs> is to push it. And I'm like, she didn't understand what it was <laughs> we all just started cracking up laughing and it was just hilarious we had such a good time and after that it did not take much for her to come out and dance and um oh that night was just so much fun and I haven't been to very many weddings because I moved away from home and a lot of my friends you know I wasn't around for their weddings and my family and such so um but everybody there was saying because they all grew up around each other and they're college friends. And they're like, this is the best wedding reception we've been to, I think, ever. And so I was making mental notes. Um, I'm like, because I had a blast, but I thought all weddings were fun. Apparently not. So I was making all these all these mental notes. And I came home and I, I told my girls, I'm like, hey, guys, let's already start planning and getting some ideas together for your weddings. And they just kind of looked at me like I had 10 heads. But uh, anyway, Jen did a lot. Uh, Jen, my aunt and cousins did a lot themselves with um getting ideas through Pinterest and they're such a creative family anyway. And Jen did have a wedding planner cause they both just moved into a home. They both work, um, pretty stressful jobs. Uh, he works for Apple and, um, they live in California. So she hired this wedding coordinator that did a phenomenal job and, um, she's out of the San Mateo area. So if anybody's interested, let me know and I'll get her name, but she did a great, great job. It all went together perfectly. Um, and in the middle of the dance floor, I took a picture of it. Um, she had done in, um, she had their names, Ben and Jen written in this beautiful scripty writing. And it was just like something you do, um, out of your silhouette or something, but it was huge. It took up the center of the dance floor. It was just gorgeous. Obviously something that they can pull up and redo, but, um, and offhand, I cannot remember of the name of the hotel that this reception was at, but I need to tell you because it had such an old world, like Tuscan feel to it. It was just elegant and classy and phenomenal. We had kind of a small reception outside while we were waiting on them to finish pictures. So they had some finger foods and of course the open bar was starting and um, everybody just kind of, Chit Chan got to know each other, and I was taking tons and tons of pictures for a gift I'm going to make Jennifer. Um, she's having some formal scrapbooks made, but I'm going to do kind of a um, 
informal of all the behind the scenes and, you know, miscellaneous candid moments. Um, Because sometimes those are just as fun as the formal moments. So I was introducing myself to her friends. I'm like, trust, I I promise you I'm not a stalker. I'm Jen's cousin, but can I take a picture of you guys? It's for a gift I'm making her. And they're like, sure. So because we are fun, sassy, classy redheads, um, the name of this page is Classy, Sassy, and a Bit Smart Assy. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. I love, I hope I don't offend anybody with the title, but I have to tell you, I, I just, I knew that the title had to be special when my aunt sent this picture to me because it just fits. And we can be smart alecky. She looked completely classy. I'm sassy. So, you know, if the shoe fits. I'm wearing it because, oh, this page was so much fun. I didn't even talk about what I was doing. I'm sorry. So I cut these, the paper into strips, and then I pulled out my sewing machine, which I haven't used um, in quite a few layouts, and I sewed just once down the strip, and I even sewed the strips on in the corner elements. You'll see it on the close-ups. I'm just adding some black because I decided to use the black amber sand flare that was in the kit. I also used black glitter um, I know I need a comma after the sassy, um, but that stamp or that letter set came from Michael's and it didn't have one. I, I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, it, it needs a comma. So I'm going to have to come up with something. Maybe I'll cut apart a one or something and just kind of slant it and try and make it look like a, like a comma. Um, but just adding some enamel dots and um, the brackets down there look dark as well, um, but they're not, they're just a deep teal. So it's a different color of hue. I have different hues of this teal color. So with the classy, the black amber sand, I also decided to add some black um, splatters with my Heidi Swap. And I have some cork embellishments and I used up an older um, embellishment from my stash, which is the music notes you see in the top left corner. And um, I got that at Joanne's last summer, actually. So that completes the page. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know what you think. And um, thank you so much to all of you for your support um, and encouragement. I really love what I do. And um, I love watching you all as well. So take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.